Macro Toolbar, which is a special control panel that lets us customize our workflow in powerful ways, giving us easy access to often used functions and commands, has been with us for a couple of versions. You can show or hide the Macro Toolbar by clicking the Macros button in the main toolbar, and you can add and change command and command groups and buttons freely to fit your needs. What's new in Studio One version 4 is ability to create layers in this toolbar. So you can see only macros which are contextually relevant to your current workflow. In this short video, I'll show you how to get this done. To create new page, we right click on the left side of the toolbar and select new page. We can rename the page according to our own need. I'll name it My Page. Now we have three pages and we can freely switch between them. Let's go to My Page. By right clicking the toolbar, we first create new group and rename it volume up and down. Another right click and we'll create two new buttons. Next, we assign macros to each of these two new buttons. First, is volume down by three decibels. Second will be volume up by three decibels. Now we can freely switch between pages and execute contextually correct macros. Our two assigned buttons will decrease or increase the volume of the selected event by three decibels. Let's give it a try. By doing that, we can create fully personalized and customized macro toolbar and by creating more pages fit in more macros. All macros can be shown based on context and workflow. Easy, right?